How's it going everyone? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know I've talked and explained my strategy a lot, but I'm here to give you guys a real time example. ADVM, as you guys can see, I'm currently trading this right now. I just took a 5,000 share position. I'm waiting for it to come down so I can accumulate more. I do think that it rejects this 1.7 level in the next two, three minutes or so. And I'm going to start scaling out just slowly so I can get a better average when it comes down. My average is pretty high. I'd rather it be closer to 165, 166 just to minimize my risk as much as possible. Let me begin diving right into my strategy so you guys can understand more about why I'm taking this trade and how I nail these trades every couple of days. Let's get right into it. So a bunch of tickers going right now. GRRR, FUN, RIVSN. These tickers carry the volume. Most of them are going right now. RVSN just came down, but that's where all the volume is. What I look for, instead of chasing the volume like most traders do and just trying to get intraday trades on it, just getting caught up in shop, what I'm looking for is a low volume ticker that's getting accumulated, that's consolidating on you know a previous level. Doesn't even necessarily have to be a previous level. I just want to see accumulation. I want to see buyers present, and I want to see it trading in a range. So basically what accumulation is, right? As you guys can see, we had a low of 163, lower wake, buyers came in, swooped up that dip, and we've been trading in a range from that 164, 160 level all the way to that 170 level, right? And I took my entry right around here before this pop. I noticed buyers were coming in on the tape, took my entry, and now I'm holding. I do think it comes right back down to 165, continues to trade in a range, and eventually we get the breakout in the next 30, 40 minutes or so. Now, this setup does look really good as it's also consolidating over pre-market resistance. We touched that 1.6 level, buyers came in, swooped it right back up, and now we're just trading in this range. What I hope to see is higher lows. I wanna see more buyers stepping in, more bidders on the level two. But for now, this setup does look really good. I have high confidence that this will go. This is one of my very prime examples of how of what type of trades that I'm usually taking. This is real time. I'm currently trading it. As you guys can see, it's 8 a.m. on Monday. I hope this trade works out. It's my very first trade of the day. I stay patient, wait for the right setup. A lot of days, there really aren't any good setups like this. There might be some low volume tickers consolidating, but it really has to be the right one. Those type of days where there's just really isn't any setup for me, I don't trade. Trading this style is all about patience. If you lack patience, you're not going to be able to trade these type of trades because they require patience, they require discipline, you can't get chopped out, and you just have to have conviction. You need the confidence, you need the experience in your trades to be able to sit here and say, okay, I'm in, I'm holding, and nothing is going to stop me. I'm watching every other ticker. I'm looking at where the volume is, just so where it's going to rotate. And when everything dies out, when everything has its bad moments, ADVM is going to take off, volume is going to flood in, it's going to see a pop to 185, 190 even, then it's going to come right back down. I hope you guys understand why I take these types of trades, and let's watch this trade take out. I do think it might take 30, 40 minutes or so. Hopefully we get another dip down to 165. I'm definitely not done accumulating. I want more. I want it to come down. I want to load up and I want this thing to go to 185 plus. Let me know if you guys have any questions about why I take these types of trades, but I'm looking for these tickers every day, every single day. I sit on my hands. I ignore everything running. I never play what has the volume. I'm in live trading every single morning with my team. They all know this. You know, many right behind me, he trades intraday tickers. He trades the volume and he's really, really good at it. That's his niche. I have a different trading style. I focus on low volume, consolidation, accumulation mainly, accumulation of buyers. And let's see this thing come down to 165 real quick, get some low loads in, hold to 185. That would be the perfect picture play for this ticker. I'll catch you guys when this thing makes its move or when it stops me out. So as you guys can see on ADVM, it was a premature breakout in my opinion. I did expect it to come down, consolidate more so I can accumulate more. That's what I wanted it to do at least. I did want more shares. I'm only in 3,500 after scaling out 1,500. But now what I'm seeing is that we just broke out of 1.7, retested it, 
and we're currently bouncing up from it so i'm expecting 183 at the minimum here and i do want it to go quick because usually when these tickers just slowly consolidate and just kind of edge resistance they won't break it if a stock wants to do it it'll do it that's kind of my thesis so if i'm in a stock and i'm looking for it to break out or make a move if it doesn't do it in the first couple minutes first five minutes then the chances of it not breaking out are higher because if buyers are there, they're ready, it's going to go. Hope we can get at least 183 from this. That's my target. But as you guys can see, we're currently building up higher lows. So we had a low right here, low right here, low right here. So this is exactly what I wanted to see. We're breaking out. We're looking good for 183. Hopefully we can get that and I'll close this trade out. Potentially move on to the next and also might take the day off here. Go take a nap. I'm pretty tired. I had a late night last night, but I hope you guys are understanding where the strategy comes from, why it works so well, so consistently. If you're able to stay patient, stay disciplined and actually know what to look for in these trades, you can't just find any support, any bottom and say, I'm in. You got to give it some time to accumulate. You got to see buyers, you know, consistently step in. If we were to take a closer look into this, watch this. Look at this buying volume here, buying volume, buying volume. Buying volume everywhere before this breakout is consistently higher than the selling volume. Higher, higher. So we know buyers are present in this area. We know accumulation is happening. And the breakout should come in the next couple of minutes or so. Hopefully 183. That would be exactly what I'm looking for. I'm also going to set some limit cells to get filled. In case we just have a quick boner candle. I will update you guys on this trade soon. So as you guys can see, ADVM attempting to get that 180 breakout here. Very close to it. We need the volume. Buyers need to step up here. Currently up around 350 on this position, which is not too bad considering I wasn't in nearly my full position, nearly the position that I wanted to be in at least. I was expecting to come down. I was expecting to accumulate more. But I want you guys to understand and realize how stress-free these types of trades are. I'm completely chilling. I can go get my food. I don't have to worry about a knife coming a knife coming in because the chances of that happening are just a lot lower than any of the high volume plays. These tickers are just low risk, good reward, and they're just calm, non-stressful tickers. You don't have to deal with chop. You don't have to deal with, you know, you know, just crazy chop going up, down, up, down, lower wake here, fakes you out, goes back up. This is a lot less stressful. It's a lot more convenient to trade as long as you have the patience, the experience, the discipline you need, then in my opinion, I could never find a better setup to trade than these types of setups in this type of market. Now there are markets where trade out there are markets where breakout trades are honestly just superior and they're insanely profitable. They break out in quickly, stocks are going three, four hundred percent. But for me, this is not that market. I used to trade that market when it was the move. I think these types of trades are superior. They can be beat if you want quick profit. Well, not necessarily quick profit. I think these types of trades are superior, hard to beat. If you want a calm trade, some a trade where you can just relax, hold through the move. You have your conviction in the trade. You just let it sit. You just sit back and you just watch it. You let it make it. You let it make the move for you. Instead of having to keep chopping in and out of trades, hopping right back in, and then it ends up coming down, fakes you out, then it goes. You know, it, it takes a bunch of experience to be trading intraday, consistently profitable. And that's where most people lose their money, right? It's trying to chase these high volume tickers that end up just dumping on them. These types of trades, it's very low risk, very convenient for me at least. I love trading them. I'm gonna move this down to 179 because I want it to get filled. I'm hoping for a move here. Come on, ADVM, give me at least 183. All right, boys, let's watch this trade out. And we just sold a thousand, here we go. Let's get 182, fill the next order, come on. All right, we just filled out 1.8 and we're left with a thousand shares. We just secured $450 on the day. Here we go. I'm going to flatten my position. $442. Sure, this thing can go a lot more, but if you optimize my price target, I send my profit, I send my entries and I stick to that no matter what, no matter what, I have my limit sales. As you guys can see, here we go. This is a real account. No faking this ever. Thank your swim. I'm currently up $442 on the ticker. 
So first trade of the day, like I told you guys, I'm nailing these every day. My Discord knows I'm in live trading with them every single morning. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Take a look into the strategy. See if the one, see if it's the one for you. It's definitely the one for me. So